Hello and welcome to today's myminimaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be adding three digit and four digit numbers using formal written methods. And first of all, on to question one, which is 324. And we're going to add 363. Now, the first thing we need to make sure we have are the correct columns. So all our units are in the units column. We have our tens and we have our hundreds. So first of all, let's add the units together. So four units and three units are seven units. Then the tens, two tens and six tens. So 20 add 60 is 80, eight tens. And finally, three hundreds add three hundreds are six hundreds. So for a final answer of 687. And next we're on to question two, which is 2,387. And we're adding 5,511. Now this time, it's exactly the same as question one, but of course we have the thousands column as well as the hundreds, the tens, and the units. So, if we look at the units to begin with, we've got seven plus one, which of course is eight. Then we have the eight tens plus the one ten, which is nine tens or 90. Then we have 300 plus 500, which is 800. And then 2000 plus 5000, 7000 for a final answer of 7,898. And next we're on to question three. So that's 676. And we're going to add 822. So again, we're back to just the hundreds, the tens and the units. So first of all, let's add together the six and the two, which gives us eight. Then we have the seven tens and the two tens, so nine tens. And then next we have 600 plus 800. Now here we have 14, 1400, 1400. So we place the 400 in the hundreds column and then we carry the 1000 into the thousands column over here. Now, some people like to place their carryovers above. Some people like to do it below. It doesn't matter whichever you feel most comfortable with. Now we need to make sure we include this. There's nothing else to add up. So we have our 1000 carried over for a final answer of 1,498. And finally, we're on to question four, which is 8,324. And we're going to add 1,485. Now, first of all, we're going to add the units together. So four units and five units are nine units. Then we're going to add the tens together. So two tens and eight tens are ten tens. So we're going to place our zero in the tens column and carry over into the hundreds column. Now, don't forget, you can place this carried over 100 underneath or at the top. It doesn't matter whichever you feel best with. So altogether, we have 100, 400 and 300 to give us 800. And then finally, we have our thousands column, which is 8,000 plus 1,000 is 9,000. So that gives us a final answer of 9,809. Thank you very much for listening today and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.